IT Pro asks, what if the Carrington event happened today? The Carrington event was a coronal mass ejection CME, from the sun that hit Earth in September 1859, causing the largest geomagnetic storm on record. According to reports from the time, the auroras, which can normally only be seen near the poles, appeared close to the equator. In the northeastern U.S., the illumination from the aurora borealis was so strong, people could easily read in the middle of the night without additional lighting. As the event happened before electrification was widespread, most people wouldn't have noticed any effects beyond strange lights in the night sky. However, the telegraph system certainly felt the impact, with operators receiving electric shocks and wires throwing sparks. If a geomagnetic storm of the same strength happened today, it's fair to say we would all notice it, and not just because of the auroras. While we have better surge protection now than in the 1850s, blackouts would still take place across the globe as electrical grids failed. Cars, now more dependent on computers than ever, would start to malfunction, while satellites would likely also be taken offline. The internet would be severely disrupted, if not taken out altogether, and business transactions of all kinds would come to a halt as the flow of data stopped. Once the storm had passed, it would take years to rebuild back to the way things are now. It would also prove very expensive. A coronal mass ejection in 2012 that just missed Earth would have taken an estimated four to 10 years to recover from and impact the American economy alone by up to $2.6 billion. Will we face a geomagnetic storm like this again anytime soon? Unfortunately, it's very hard to be sure either way. A Carrington-type event is anticipated to happen roughly every 150 years. For some, that means we could experience another imminently, while others believe the near miss in 2012 may have reset the timer. For more videos like this, subscribe to the IT Pro YouTube channel, and don't forget to visit the website too.